everyone, this is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by. I am going to be doing, I guess, kind of an experiment. So if you think it feels like an experiment for me, it is, because I've never done this before. I am going to be trying the Folk Art Marbling Paint. I'm going to be using, oh, I guess a mixture of the different ones. This one... I think what it is. I know I saw the colors on here a minute ago. Oh, right here. Hot pink, orange, sour apple, red, blue, which kind of has a purpley tone, aqua. yellow and green so what I'm going to do because I guess you can do it a couple different ways you know you can do the bottles and pour them out all you know one at a time and swirl it around kind of deal but I'm going to do it with layering it into cups and then pouring it over over these flower pots okay so what I'm going to do I was thinking about just doing certain colors on each each one. They're kind of it's kind of runny. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? You're supposed to shake these. I forgot to do that. So that might be why it was a little runny. Alright. So I'm going to just layer them and try to do a different set of colors for each each Hot. just so they're different now this paint does say that it needs to be indoors so it's for indoors if you're going to put it outside you might want to make sure you coat it good with an outdoor varnish of some sort because you certainly wouldn't want it to be ruined you know, just by putting it outside. And I don't know, again, I've never done this before, so I'm not sure what to expect. I'm going to set that aside for a minute. And just bear with me, since I've never done this before. You really don't know how much paint it's going to take. So like I said, I have eight colors sitting here. I'm going to use four on each. Pouring seems to be such a popular thing right now. Definitely very abstract, which I like. You can shake them all up. And then according to the directions, you just do like one stir, one quick stir, pull it up, and then you can begin to pour. And I have a different stick for each one. I'm just doing a quick stir, not a steady stir, just a quick stir once around. We'll see what happens. Wish me luck. Okay, I'm going to use this on the big one. I have some wax paper underneath. I did put some tape in the hole. Uh, you know, who knows. But I'm going to go ahead and just pour on the top. Try to get this in here so you can see. And then just pour it so it comes down the sides. And you could you know, pick it up if you wanted to. May not be getting the back very well, but we'll see what happens. I definitely put something down again, you know, to catch. Or you could have a pan if you're something that if this is something you're going to do a lot of, you might want to put a pan down to help catch it. And I think it said you know you can stir it around a little bit, you know, move it around. I wanted more to come down from the bottom.
And then I'm just going to let it sit on this and dry. And once it dries, I'll show you the end results. Okay, let's go ahead and do this next one. Now this is a smaller pot. They're two different sizes. So I'm going to do the same. Now I might just want to begin by pouring it more down the edge or the sides of it as opposed to putting so much on the base or the bottom of it. But I want it on the bottom too. Just maybe not as much. Oops, and I got a little bit of that color on that one. Oh, yikes. But you can move it around a little bit. Like I said, I'm trying to not get my fingers in it or whatnot. Like I said, I made a boo-boo and got it on this one. But it's you know pretty pretty easy to do from what it looks like. I'm not sure the drying time on this, so we'll see and I'll let you know. Um, but anyhow, we'll come back and I'll show you the the end results once they dry. Okay, so I gave my pots basically a little over 24 hours of drying time and just wanted to share with you the outcome. The only thing I'm not too sure about and I might if I were to do this again maybe even place some tape around this or something. I'm not too sure. I'm both thrilled about the way the top looks because I did just keep them turned upside down because I do have paint on the bottom. I painted, you know, put tape across the hole, so that looks nice. And this is okay, but I'm not sure that I would sell them in this manner. Maybe I should have picked them up a little bit sooner and turn, you know, just kind of got them unstuck from the the tray that, or the little sh um, wire sh wire piece that I was drying them on. Uh, but anyways, I think it turned out cute. I mean, I could see putting a plant in those or even using these for storage. Again, I did tape at the bottom of that one. Looks like it leaked a little bit, but it's still still fine. I mean, you're going to put stuff in this anyways. And again, with this one, same thing. Not too sure that I'm happy. If you have any suggestions, if you've done the pouring like this before, you know, please send those down below. But I do like the paint. I mean, it's very, just very nice coverage. You know, very level for the most part and I think it did well. These will be pretty. So if you like this video, again it was just a quick something different to do on my channel to do some flower pots, but I liked it and think it went well. So if you like this give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell and before you leave hit the share button that you'll see below the video and share this on your social network with all your family and friends. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again. I appreciate you so much spending your time watching my videos. Stick around and view some, some other ones if you want. And until the next time, you stay healthy and safe and have a good one. Mm -hmm.